Hello everyone, in today's quick video, we're going to see how we can use dynamic formatting techniques to enhance the user interactivity of our Excel reports. For example, in this dashboard, the user has the option to select whichever configuration of numbers they want to see. If they select thousands, they'll see all the numbers in thousands, both in the table as well as on the chart on the right side. To start off, let's brush up our concepts of custom formatting. Here, I have a pivot table which shows the sales by subcategory for different years. All of this data is shown in full numbers, but if I want to view these numbers in thousands, I can do that by custom formatting. I'll select the cell which I want to format and then press Ctrl-1 on my keyboard. That will open the screen for the custom formatting. Here, I can define a format of my choice. I'm going to go with this format and click on OK. And as you can see, the number is converted into thousands. Similarly, if I want to view the numbers in millions, I can again press Ctrl-1, go to the format, and instead of one comma at the end, I can put two commas. That way, it will convert the number for me in millions. I'll just press Ctrl-Z to go back to the original state. Now, apart from custom formatting, there is another way to achieve the same result, and that is via the text function. To use the text function, I'm just going to wrap the same value inside the text function, like this, and then I'm going to define the formatting syntax that I want to be applied. So similar to how we did before in the custom formatting, I'll, I'll just paste the same syntax here and close the formula. And voila, it converts us, it converts the number for us in thousands. Similarly, if I want to convert it into millions, I'm just going to go and put in two commas rather than one towards the end. So this is great up until here. However, it's still not user friendly, especially if we are going to use this technique on the face of the dashboard, because we won't want our users to go into the formula bar and, ch and change the number of commas every time they want to view a different configuration. What we want to achieve is that there should be one cell where the user inputs whether they want to view the numbers in millions, thousands or whatever, and the numbers adjust themselves uh, accordingly. So we can achieve that by using the switch function. So I'm going to set up an input cell where I expect the users of the report to input their uh, preference, whether they want to view in millions, thousands, or whatever. So let's say this is the input cell. I'm going to color it as yellow. And then I'm going to use the following switch statement. Let's dig down into this formula. The first argument of the switch function asks for the cell that we want the function to evaluate. The second argument is the value that we want the function to check. Here, I have put in millions. The third argument of the formula is the value we want the formula to return if the previous argument is true. Therefore, if the user has selected millions in cell B4, which means the argument 2 is true, then we want the function to return this value, which is the text function with the formatting of millions. The fourth argument is the value we want the function to evaluate if the first value was not true. This means that if the value in the cell B4 was not millions, then what do we want the formula to check? We want the formula to check if the value is thousands. And if it is thousands, then what do we want to return? That is the fifth argument, which is the text function with the formatting of thousands. And similarly, the sixth argument is the next value that we want the function to evaluate, and the seventh argument is the resultant value. And same way, in the switch function, we can give many more arguments as well. For now, this is enough for us. I'm just going to change the first argument of the function to cell N4 instead of cell B4, because that is our input cell, and then let's hit enter. So right now, nothing has been defined, that's why the formula is throwing an error. But if I put in millions, it's going to show me the same number in millions. And if I put in thousands, the number will be in thousands. And similarly, full number will show the number in full. Now let's try and apply the same technique on the face of the dashboard. I'm going to copy this entire formula 
go to my dashboard sheet, which is sheet three in this case, and copy this formula in the first cell. Just instead of taking N4, I'm now gonna take B2. That is where my input cell lies. Perfect. And then I'm gonna copy this formula on the entire table. Perfect. Now let's change it into thousands and see if it works. Very good, it's working. Now there's one problem in this dashboard still and that is the users can select a wrong selection over here. Instead of millions, they can misspell the millions. For example, they can spell the millions as with single L and in that case, the formula is gonna throw up an error. So how do we control the user input? We can do that by using the data validation technique. So I'm gonna put up the list of possible values that I want the user to input over here on a separate sheet. Millions, thousands, and full number. Then I'm gonna go to the main cell where I wanna put the data validation. I'll go to data, data validation, and give the source where I want the data validation to pick up the possible values from. Now this way, if the user inputs a wrong input or an input that we're not expecting, then it will throw up an error. So it's looking all good so far. However, there are a few caveats that we need to be aware of when using the text function. The text function converts all the values in text. And what that means is that if you will try to sum up these numbers using the sum function, like this, it will not work. And same way, if you will try to create a graph out of these numbers, that will also not work. Let's check it by way of an example. So here I have a chart and I will try to plot this chart on the data that we have in this table. And you'll see that the chart is not going to work. And that is because the chart cannot read these values in terms of numbers. So how can we solve this problem? We can reconvert these text values into numbers using the number value function. So I'm just going to take the chart on the side for a moment. And here I'm going to just bring in the same data. And since the chart is already linked to this range where we are putting the numbers, you will see that once we have put in the numbers, the chart will automatically update. And I'll use the number value formula to bring in these values. Perfect. Let's check it out now. So if I put in thousands, both the chart as well as the numbers will convert in thousands. And if I select millions, it will show the numbers in millions.